show for today. The topic is Tennessee State University and the Maytown Center Project. And we're talking to the director of the project at Tennessee State University, uh, Dr. David Padgett. Uh, Dr. Padgett, before we had our uh, second commercial break, we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to uh, continue uh, the conversation. So let's uh, just inform us in reference to this during the last uh, 10 minutes that we have here. Okay, well, in late last year, late last 2008, the uh, May family and their developer um, came to me uh, and asked that there be a research component as part of this project, uh, and they wanted to involve students. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, again, we negotiated uh, a, a research project. I hired six students that I call the uh, Maytown Scholars, mm -hmm. uh, Christopher Norwood, a biology major, graduate student, uh, Nakia Young. Nakia Young actually was the first African-American planner in Rutherford County. Mm -hmm. uh, Kataja Jordan, who's at graduate school at mm -hmm. UT Austin, mm -hmm. and, and three other students. Uh, and so their mission was to take the data that we collected uh, from a variety of of sources including spatial information using geographic information systems to look at the area, map the area, and look at the communities that will be impacted by Maytown Center. Mm -hmm. uh, and so after we analyzed these communities, we, we came up with three primary what we call stakeholder groups. Mm -hmm. uh, the first are African American or well, alumni of Tennessee State University mm -hmm. who are almost overwhelmingly black of course. Mm -hmm. uh, the second stakeholder group are people who live in and around mm -hmm. the community who might be considered to be green or mm -hmm. African Americans who have a environmentalist mm -hmm. uh, perspective. And mm -hmm. then the third group uh, are business owners, mm -hmm. you know, the people who have business mm -hmm. interests. So uh, those are our three stakeholder groups that we're looking at most closely to see you know, where they might weigh in on this mm -hmm. project. Uh, so in order to gauge the uh, perspectives of these groups, mm -hmm. uh, we conducted a, a survey, the mm -hmm. uh, Maytown Center Project Stakeholder Environmental Perception mm -hmm. Survey in both paper format and mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. And so we've been getting feedback from these surveys. Uh, and what we found thus far is very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, we found that the green or environmentalist roots mm -hmm. of this project uh, are closely linked to the Bordeaux landfill. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that there was a landfill mm -hmm. uh, in Bordeaux that was closed down. Mm -hmm. The black community out there fought against it for 20 years, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of sentiment in Bordeaux mm -hmm. uh, against bad development, against pollution, mm -hmm. against landfills. Mm -hmm. And so that community is in the same council district as Bell's Bend in mm -hmm. District 1, mm -hmm. uh, Lionel Matthews, uh, mm -hmm. who is a TSU graduate, interestingly mm -hmm. enough. Uh, and so we've had so, some people from that cohort who are also TSU graduates, mm -hmm. so some of these stakeholder groups cross over, oh, who are surprisingly against the project uh, because of its negative environmental impact. Mm -hmm. And that somewhat goes against history. Mm -hmm. What has historically occurred in Mm -hmm. land use change and, and, and development mm -hmm. is African Americans have typically gone in favor of what's going to bring the most jobs mm -hmm. in spite of the environmental impact. Mm -hmm. So we would expect for uh, African Americans in this case to be in favor of Maytown mm -hmm. because North Nashville has a lack of jobs, mm -hmm. a lack of businesses, a lack of opportunity, a mm -hmm. lack of development, which presumably uh, would be externalities, positive externalities mm -hmm. coming forth in the community mm -hmm. if Maytown is built. Mm -hmm. So, of course, our second stakeholder group, the business community, which includes the um, uh, Black Chamber of Commerce, which includes uh, the Jefferson United Merchants mm -hmm. Partnership and others, uh, they have come out very much in favor of the project. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are also TSU mm -hmm. alum. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, interesting enough, now we have the TSU alumni who have neither environmental interests mm -hmm. uh, nor do they have business interests, but how are they swayed one way or the other for mm -hmm. or against this project uh, based upon their relationship with Tennessee State University? Mm -hmm. And again, we found some very interesting re preliminary results. Mm -hmm. We found that some uh, 
African American alumni of TSU are very much in favor of the project, mm -hmm. obviously because the donation of land uh, as part of this um, mm -hmm. initiative would be the single greatest value donation mm -hmm. in the nearly 100 year history of the university. Mm -hmm. and. All